citizens wishing to be heard. Our first citizen is Sandra Jones. Please come forward. And state your name and address for the record, Ms. Jones. Good evening. My name is Mrs. Sandra D.S. Jones. I live at 4940 Copies Road in Hay Hyman, Georgia. First of all, I would like to thank the board for allowing me to be heard. I'm here and I'm requesting that taxpayers 65 and older be exempt from paying school taxes in Hollins County. I respectfully request that you contact Lowndes County and city school boards and discuss this issue with them. A round table discussion on this matter along with a few taxpaying citizens could get this issue resolved. We have seniors in Lowndes County that are making choices whether to pay taxes or purchase food or much needed medication. Is there a resolution in place to assist citizens that are experiencing hardships concerning paying their taxes? And who is in charge of assisting them? Most seniors are not looking for a handout, but for a handout. I realize our outstanding school systems have budgets that needs to be considered but I also ask that you consider the needs, the needs of our seniors. You as a board can provide that for them by finding a way to exempt our seniors 65 and older from paying school taxes. Our seniors 65 and older need your compassion and action on this matter. When can I expect a response concerning my request? One of the things that I looked at when I was thinking about coming before this board, I looked at your mission statement. And it stated to provide an efficient, effective, and responsive local government to all citizens of Loudoun County while maintaining the financial strength to meet any contingency. I ask you to please consider our seniors I have interviewed several seniors, and a lot of them are having difficult times at this time. Like I said, buying food, purchasing much needed medication. And you are our elected officials. Sometimes I feel like we cast the seniors out. But let's do something for them. Please, think about it. I had one woman that I interviewed, she told me this. She said, since my husband passed away, I don't get half of the money that we used to get when he was alive. She said, I had my septic tank to go out, and I had to buy a freezer. She said, I don't have any extra money to pay taxes. So please, y'all, think about those people that have been paying taxes for 20, 30, and 40, and 50 years. And now they're not receiving the extra income, but taxes are going up. Let's do something for them. And you all have the power to do that. Get with the city. You know, get with the county and discuss with them what they can do with lowering their budget. You know, when I was growing up, I used to hear my granddad say, you need to trim the fat. So maybe they can trim some fat so we can help some of these seniors 65 and older. Cut your budget. Because if the money is not there, then you can't make these extra purchases. But the seniors don't have that luxury. They don't have the money. So think about those that are 65 and older. I'm getting there. I'm not there yet. I'm just speaking on their behalf. But please think about that. We have a responsibility to our seniors. Think about it. Who's been paying the taxes? One lady told my husband it'll be 92 years old and he was still paying taxes. Oh, no, no, no. A change needs to be made. And I thank you all for listening to me. I really do. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. And when can I hear from you all? Uh oh, I'll get with you a little bit later, Ms. Jones. We don't want to have dialogue. At oh, that's fine. Here. Later is fine. But I just know that you're thinking about what I actually do. We don't give you any other opportunity but not stay in the
Okay, I appreciate that. And I appreciate it coming from the commissioner. That means a lot. The chairman, that says a lot. Thank you all very much. Thank you.